Hello everyone, welcome back to another video by the chosen individual. Now, I know that this video took much longer than it would usually have, and the reason for that is because I have exams this week. Yeah. Sucks to suck, I guess. And it's been totally kicking my butt. Uh, like, I haven't been able to do basically anything. I arrived from exercise at about 6 of 30, 7, 30, and instead of being able to do anything, record, or I've, I've even had a hard time answering comments, I just have to immediately get back to doing homework or studying, which sucks to say the least, but oh well, we're back. So today we're going to do part two of the nuclear lab. As you can probably notice, I'm using a different recording software, which is OBS instead of Xbox Game Bar. And I, I think you know that I know that you know the struggle. So let's just gloss over that really quickly. And so we're part two of the nuclear lab, which will be the actual building. So in the previous video, we designed the Chicago pile, the breeding reactors, and the nuclear research room, and the um, spend, uh, spend fuel pool. And today, we're going to make the boundaries of all those rooms and transform them into one big facility like it was always meant to be. So, I did say in the previous video that I was going to make a Xernox. But in the end, I was like... Eh, I just didn't have enough time to do it before this video. So, in the next video, you might see it just randomly show up. And... So, then, well, you already know the reason. And it's, it's nothing new. I've already shown you how to make a Xernox reactor before. So, it should be of no concern to you. And if not, then just go back and watch the video, or I can make a quick gloss over since I need content. Let me just check that OBS is actually recording. Uh, yes, okay, good. I did change my settings from when I made the uh, Secret Lab video, because after playing it back a couple times, I realized that the game volume and my voice were like extremely low. I, I don't, I'm not even sure why, but... It just kind of happened because I was my first time using OBS and I generally don't know what I'm doing, so it just kind of happened, you know. But I fixed it, it should hopefully be better now. Okay, um, I am still nowhere near done, I still need to do this part. Um, so things I want to talk about, and it is that I want to make, <clears throat> like, so I was, uh, a couple of days ago, I was on my Discord server when all of a sudden this guy came up and he had problems downloading the Robo Rebels mod. I helped it with him, I, he I helped it, I, I helped him with it, there it is. And what was the problem, you ask? Well, he was using 1.17.1, no 1.7.10, which is the one that I'm using right now and the one that I always use. So if you're going to download the mod, just just be wary of that, okay? I don't know why this is still here. Oh, well, let me replace it with some hazard stripes. But, uh, yeah, that is a minor thing. The major thing is that I realized that a lot that maybe more people are interested in... Rebel Rebels than I initially thought. I initially thought that like it was just gonna be a quick fun fact or quirky video and that was gonna be the end of it. I was never gonna talk about it or show it again. But I was apparently wrong and I'm for once glad I was wrong because I <clears throat> really like the Rebel Rebels mod so I was thinking Maybe we could do, like, a team battle or sort of mini-game. I'll, I'll figure something out when I'm uh, out of exams. 
out of the Twilight Zone, as I like to call it. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll figure something out. Give me some time. Man, right clicks all, all are all over the place. <sighs> now that is the wrong one. Okay, now we grab some reinforced doors, which are pretty reliable. There they are. This place is two there. And I guess a key card reader. Hold on, let me, let me, if I, ah, well, screw it, I'll, I'll do it later. So now I just grab my magical wand and just start building that up until the limit that I set. And do the exact same on the other side so it's perfectly even. Whoops. There we go. Now, I did just realize that it looks somewhat strange, but I can't really do anything about it anymore. <laughs> I just kind of have to go with it. Okay, let me just... Actually, let me just... Let me just decorate this a bit. So, what color do you other guys like? My, my favorite color is orange, so I'm gonna... Go ahead and make a nice um, orange rim. See, it's starting to look a lot more lively. <sighs> By the way, um. Captain Chosen will be handling the next video since it, it contains more military tech stuff that I don't have high enough security clearance to cover yet. So I'll ask him to give you guys a rundown on it. He's not a master builder like me, but uh, I'm sure you'll have a fun time with him. It's like, it's like hanging out with your cousin that you haven't seen in like four years but that you used to be best best friends with when you were like seven it's exactly like that it's like seeing an old friend bro remember when no no i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that i was gonna talk about something but i suddenly decided it was not the best of guess so that's a nice orange rim job it looks Nice. I don't know if rim job is a bad word. I just heard it randomly. Now I'll make a lime one for this. Nice and, and lime and radioactive and stuff. I've got to admit, this does look much better than I initially thought. Do be aware though that this is probably going to take a lot of concrete, so if you're not ready for that, then you're probably better off not making this. Alright, now let's uh, use some light blue for this uh, Chicago power room. You know what's much easier? If I just grab the wooden axe, aka okay, the wand. And just, whoops. Perfect. Much easier and faster. And I think we have one remaining. 
So we're gonna do a nice yellow one. I mean, why not? Why shouldn't I is the question. I should've probably done the same thing that I did in the other room. Let's do that. If my voice sounds kind of unenthusiastic, it's because it's 8 p.m. and I have to go to bed soon. That was the wrong one. Wait, did I make it on the same side? Yeah, so if my voice sounds kind of an unenthusiastic and generic, that's why. There we go. Okay. Now we go with the roof. Oh, wait, we're actually missing a room, so... Red concrete, that should be pretty good, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Question for y'all, is it a good or a bad thing to sleep with socks on? It's like... Uh, what what do you guys think? Is it acceptable or not to, to sleep with socks on? I personally think it's okay if you're like too lazy or sick to take them off, but uh, anything else than that, and we might have a problem. Also, by the way, I'm using quartz glass because I grew up in, I grew up in the Queen's Palace, and I just like things that look good and fancy. Okay, there we go. Also, I mostly got over the flu, but it's kind of still somewhat torturing me, so my voice might also sound unenthusiastic because of that, but I can't guarantee that is the reason. Okay, now uh, I always have this problem, and it's that I... I always want to place a chemical dye. Well, what's all this new stuff they've been adding? I don't even crayons. What? What are these things for? Anyways, I shouldn't get distracted. Um, I have these uh, glowstone illuminators. And can you power them? through walls if you know what I'm talking about let's see if we place one here and we place one there no it does not work so I've always wanted to use those eliminators but it looks like now's not the time so we'll just go with the all reliable By the way, um, so have you guys, uh, if some of you have checked out the Rival Rebels mod, like I strongly advise you to, you might have noticed the camouflage block is, let me just, there it is. It, it, it just, it, tell me, does, does this look camouflage to you? Like, seriously. Do you think this could blend in a forest or something like that? I, I, I doubt it. I really doubt it. I know I'm just talking about random things at this point, but I have to somehow keep my sanity while I uh, chip away at this thing. I'm gonna use last doors for this. Okay. If I can find them, there it is. Slide and blast door, the all reliable. We all know it, and we probably all love it. Which is all we ever need from a door. Yay. So, here's the deal. I want to make some potted plants. 
uh, about here in the middle. And I want to make like a big window so it actually looks illuminated. And not like a underground bunker like some of my builds have been. So, yeah, I guess that, that could kind of uh, be what I'm aiming for here. How wide do I do this window? If I do it two, okay, if I do it two, it'll still be five blocks long, so I guess it's fine. Also, by the way, these lab tiles look much better than I initially thought, so that's positive. Two, two on each side. <clears throat> I telepathically uh, heard that some of you were asking me, Chosen, do you have a girlfriend? And I telepathically answered, No, I play Minecraft. So there's your answer. I guess I should play the Sigma theme song now, but I'm probably going to be too lazy to edit it in, so, yeah. Don't need women when you got gaming, I guess. Actually, it looks much better than I initially thought. I should probably just do this. It's much easier and faster. And that's how you clip through blocks. That just kind of happens to me every once in a while. Wait a minute, why is this lit up? There's no... Eh, who knows? Who knows and who cares at this point? I hate how these bats just immediately spawn in the second year it goes dark. I mean, you could make a point that I should illuminate these things before covering them up, but... I mean, like, come on. It takes like five seconds. Also, um... Can we talk? If if we made a a breeding or research reactor before, or any, or literally anything that requires a a water pool, if so, you might have realized that squids uh like to spawn in there quite a lot. If I open up the little uh map, you can see oh in the mini map, you can see that squids like to spawn in there. I don't know what's the deal with that. That just kind of happens. I mean, they're not detrimental to the integrity of the system, but I mean, if you see a nuclear waste pool and see a squid floating inside it, you're going to think, well, what the hell? The squid should be dead. And that's why they always, almost always, die of radiation poisoning. I, <laughs> I was a very funny moments where I hear puking in the distance and I could check well, what's going on and it's just squid that's stuck in my spent fuel pool. I should not be talking about these things. I received a comment um from, I think it was a later homie, I can't remember at this point, talking about how he could not eat when I watching YouTube and that my secret lab video saved his life. Well, first of all, when I answered, um, you're welcome. Nah, that's why I make Pete, uh, that's, <laughs> that Pete was for nothing, okay. That's why I make videos. It's for people to watch them, okay? Not, not for them to be there just for the record or however you say it. But yeah, some people are probably eating right now. You know, eating, eating some some chips or some some ribs. What do I know? Or maybe some good old soup, uh, chicken noodle soup. And out of nowhere, I'm talking about squids puking. Squids can't even really physically 
puke. I mean, I don't think they have a mouth. Actually, they they do. Well, if if I'm correct, I'll bring up some sort of biological diagram to explain what I'm talking about. Uh, I think the digestive system is incomplete or something. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. I almost failed biology last year. And we were talking about those same things and the reproductive system. Yes, I know. So that's good. Are all the rooms done? Yes, finally. Okay, now I can get down to decoration. I think I can erase my inventory at this point and go. And I'm gonna go with a very simple setup: trap doors, grass, leaves. Easiest setup you could have for decoration. I like this cool little animation that it does. I'm just not entirely sure why. Uh, it just kinda, it looks good. It looks good. And somewhere around where I think is the middle, but it's probably nowhere near the middle, is where I am going to uh, put that. So, also, by the way, I like that my videos are inspiring some people to play Secret Lab. It's a really good game, and although I myself will probably not have the balls to go ahead and explain. Actually, no, yes, you know what, I, 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 I do, I do. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll probably make Captain Chosen do it. I probably won't have the time to do it. But, I mean, he surely has some spare time, I guess. Now that I think about it, this might not be the best of ideas to put the decorations like this. But, hey, we're not trying to get an award over here, are we? I do not understand why... The Kind of glitching. That's kind of strange. That didn't really happen before that I remembered. Or maybe the matrix is just broken at this point. Okay, and now we'll put some good old oak leaves. If you wonder why they are so yellow, it's because we're technically in the desert biome, so. Yeah, I guess that's on. That's an answer. Okay, so let me tell you right now what Secret Lab is about because I have no other time. Secret Lab is an asymmetrical team-based cooperative shooter that takes place in a survival horror roleplay sandbox. I actually no, you know what? You know what? Scrap that. Just erase from your brains, okay? Or I'll have to go and erase it myself, which will not be fun for you or your family at night. So just go ahead and get rid of that knowledge. I'll, I'll make a video explaining it. Or I could just link the ever-so-convenient video that Mecha Solaris made. He made two, I think three videos talking on it. And I've watched all three multiple times instead of doing homework, so I, I guess that's how I know it's, they're good. Now let's grab some quartz stairs. The secret to a perfect building is doing it very late at night. Because you know that as soon as you wake up the next day, you realize what mistakes you'll ma you've made. And you'll immediately fix them. Except in which case you have to go to school, in which case you will probably fix it in the afternoon, or whenever you have time. So that's pretty much it. I didn't properly light up this room. I also forgot to put the reinforced steel doors on. Fantastic. Uh, um...
There it is. Reinforced iron door. Okay, so this room will require a, a very least level 2 key card in order to be accessed. Oh great, it doesn't even work. I'm just gonna have to go with that, I guess. Actually, wait a minute. You can, um... You can open these things with pressure plates. Am I, am I, am I right? I think. Nope. <laughs> okay, so that's all your, your, my question. Anyways, guys, so it's been a 26 minute long video that I am now going to have to edit tomorrow because I do not have enough time to do it today. I hope you enjoyed this very, very much. I hope you liked it. I hope you subscribed and hit the bell or else I'm going to have to come and erase that knowledge from your brain like, an, like I promised to. So... Next time we'll be seeing the outside and more of the defense and military stuff. Well, I won't be seeing it. You guys with Captain Chosen will be seeing it. See, that's that's the lore. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have so far had a great day, week, month, year, decade. Um... What's it? What's a hundred years ago? A anyways, hope you have a great life, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. This has been the chosen individual. Peace out, gamers. <laughs>